Hey there guys and welcome back to Lead United Career Mode for the PlayStation 4. I'm Zen Savage and today I'm bringing you two games. One against Burnley at home and one against Wigan uh, which I believe is away. So we're going with an unchanged team to the team that absolutely annihilated Middlesbrough in the last game. M Burnley are going to be a bit tougher outfit uh, I think. You know, they're defensively very strong, attacking very strong, uh, even though they have lost Charlie Austin to QPR, obviously. But we're going to see what we can do. To be 100% honest with you, I would be pleased with a point, but because I'm at home, I might drive and try and get the three points, because that would obviously mean we would stay top of the league, which would be great. Um, players are coming out now. You've got Kebe, Stewart, all the new signings are in there. Uh, like I say, it's a unchanged team pretty much from the team that beat Middlesbrough 3-0. I mean, why should I have changed that team? It absolutely destroyed them. And uh, the Fondra Carmack up front, again, worked well in the last game. Um, McCormack got one. Uh, the Fondra got one. I think he did, anyway. To be honest with you, I really can't remember, but it doesn't really matter. We won 3-0 at the end of the day, and uh, as it stands, we are top of the league, and we also have not conceded a goal this season yet, which is always very nice. Uh, Burnley going with the 4-4-2 as well, so it's probably going to uh, clash with my 4-4-2. If that's the case, I may have to change it round a little bit. We'll see what happens as we're about to kick off this game. This is the second game of the season. The uh, official is Scott McBeanie, who is English. Uh, we've got the Fondra there uh, up front with McCormack. Like I said before, them two are really working well together. Uh, the Fondra is actually just a brilliant, all-round, decent player, and I really wish we had him at real Leeds, but I'm not even going to discuss the real Leeds United today because I am pissed off enough with it. Anyway, we've kicked off the game now and uh, looking to get on the front foot early. LaFondra puts the ball into Austin. He's going to try and cross it in. Uh, he's going to go himself as a shot. He's taken a deflection and Essiel just couldn't get there with a the diving header in the end. And I think it's gone out for a corner. It has indeed. Good start by Leeds. Again, putting the pressure on early. Trying to grab an early goal and do exactly what we did to Middlesbrough and knock the stuffing out of them early on. And you saw how that went for me last time. We won 3-0, which is amazing, really, considering the fact I'm playing this on world class. The corner comes in. It's no good at all. No, it is. It's so Lucas managed to get his head to it, but nothing comes of it. Kebe, again, some lovely passing football. Lost in the lav it back. He needs to cross it in. It's LaFondre. It's a free header, and it's straight the goalkeeper. He should have done better with that. That is really disappointing. Uh, Burnley had a chance, that was a great ball but a great save by Paddy Kenny, he was equal to that, quick off his line and uh, because of it the score is still nil-nil. Can we get a counter-attack going? Uh, the answer to that is no we can't but we do get the um, foul which is not really much in that at all so I think that's a little bit harsh but what can you do? Uh, we had one more chance. Here, I mean, look at that. Oh, if only his first touch had been better. He could have dinked it over Heaton and it would have been 1 0 Leeds. But really, uh, we're not playing as well as we did against Middlesbrough, that's for sure. Like, uh, the balls just start coming to feet as much as they were against Middlesbrough, and we're not really having that many shots. Uh, we're keeping possession well, but it's alright keeping possession well. When you're not having many shots, it's pointless. Uh, here, I decided to be really patient and try and build it up slowly. And uh, it nearly worked. Byram had a shot well saved. And as sealed, struck it against the Burnley defender for a corner. If that hadn't come off the defender, that would have been in the back of the net. So really, as it stands, the balance of the game is I'm dominating now. I'm really trying to get that goal that will win us the game. And... Burnley had a chance there, but like all their efforts, it was really wayward and nothing comes of it. Uh, decided to make some changes in a last-ditch attempt to get that winning goal. 
I bought a Rebe on again because I do like the look of him. And uh, I like the look of this lad as well, Esfiel, who uh, gets a little bit lucky but still has enough about him to uh, get it into the box. That ball wasn't great though and Burnley will clear it all day long. Now Austin on the ball, he's known from shooting from range but he didn't even get the chance there. And unfortunately guys, that was it. It ended nil-nil. Uh, can't really complain. Never really tested the keeper as much as I should have. Uh, providing how much possession I had. And yeah, it's nil-nil. The only good thing I can take from this is the fact that I still haven't conceded a goal this season. Middlesbrough have come in for uh, Jamie Ashdown and I'm going to let him go, I think. I'm stalling on it for now, but if I can get another goalkeeper in, I'll definitely let him go. So we'll see where that one goes. I've had a few uh, inquiries turned down for the simple fact the players are new to the club, so I didn't really see any point in showing you them. Harry Lansbury is never going to happen. Not in a million years. They want eight million for him. Eight friggin' million. I know he's good, but he's not that good. Uh, Jimmy Ryan has just joined, and Tommy Lee, they want £1 million for, and I'm not paying that either. So, really, we need to look elsewhere in the transfer window and see if I can bring some more players in on the cheap. Our next game, as uh, I thought, is away to Wigan, but we are going to wear our home strip yet again. And uh, Wigan are a much more attacking outfit than anything I have played uh, thus so far. So I'm expecting them to really come at me and give me a game, especially considering the fact that I'm away. Ivy Lane, I don't know where that is. Uh, I think it's just the default stadium. So as you can see, the crowd's up for it. The crowd look fantastic on this version of the game. They really do. As the players come out, this will actually be the last time I show you the players coming out because I think it's taking up too much time in the video unless you guys specifically request that you want to see it. Uh, Zalukas, a uh, daft challenge there. I don't know what he's doing. And he actually gets booked for it as well. And this is in the fifth minute. I could have done without this because now he's treading on thin ice and he needs to be careful on what he does for the rest of the game. Just leaves his foot in there and... He's always going to go over, isn't he? And uh, no matter how much he uh, pleads his innocence, it's not going to change the ref's mind. He's been booked, and we can have a free kick in a dangerous position. But Malman takes it. McLean's head, 1-0, Wigan. I've conceded my first goal of the season, and uh, it was quite a spectacular goal, to be honest with you. It was... Uh, flying header I don't know what my defenders were doing I should have dealt with that really because I think one of my defenders is closest to it we'll have a look here oh there's two of them I think it's Austin Austin's closest to it he's just not jumped with him has he it's Stuart and Austin uh, no Stuart's nowhere near him it's McCormack actually McCormack and Austin but Austin's man for sure and uh He'll have to take the blame for that one. Still, there's plenty of time in the game to go. And going 1-0 down at this stage is not exactly a disaster just yet. But McLean gets them ahead uh, in the sixth minute. Not the start that I wanted. Uh, can we hit back now? We need to get our passing game going. Because uh, that was a bit of a shock to the system, to be honest with you. Uh, Tom Lees with an extraordinary pass to Austin who uh, finds Stewart, who uses his pace, he passes it to Austin, he's offside, and he no, he's not, it's a goal. Wow. Wigan were ahead for a whole three minutes. Three minutes, and we've managed to hit back and get one straight back. Uh, great work by Cameron Stewart to find Austin there. Onside as well, that is a fantastic pass. That is absolutely spectacular. And Austin was never going to miss that. It's nice and snug in the bottom corner and just like that, we're going to have the lead taken off them and we are well and truly back in this game. Straight from kickoff, and Rudy Austin takes the goal but Cameron Stewart's got to take the credit for the assist. What a pass that was. And also, another thing I need to mention, Tom Lee's his pass to Austin beforehand was absolutely sublime as well. So 
Really good football leading up to that. After that goal went in, Wigan looked to get ahead again as soon as possible. I didn't really have any chances at all. I was just trying to defend for my life, uh, retain possession as such. And uh, it was going quite well until uh, they managed to pass it through me, which is what they managed to do. McManaman is absolutely class. Should not be in the championship. He is such a class player, but... I tell you who is really coming into his own. Cameron Stewart, again, he's made a fantastic run. Takes on the player. Can he get a goal? No, he can't. It's just wide. It's unlucky, though. But he's playing really well, is Cameron Stewart. He's making all the right runs. He's getting stuck in. And obviously, uh, assisted the first goal, which was fantastic. And uh, speaking of getting stuck in, Rudy Austin there. Uh, daft really, just dives in and we know what Wigan are like with three kicks, they've taken it short MacArthur Craney, MacArthur oh no, it's gone to Ramos oh, oh no that is awful I seem to remember uh, that happening to Middlesbrough but them missing the opportunity whereas Wigan have just completely taken it I'm not sure what Paddy Kenny's doing here because this is awful defending and awful goalkeeping. Why hasn't he held that? He spilled it straight to a Wigan forward and let's face it, they're never going to miss that, are they? And I'm afraid Paddy Kenny has to take the blame for that and you can see on the expression on his face, he knows. He knows that's his fault. He knows he should have held it. He knows he should have done better. And because of that, unfortunately, we are 2-1 uh, down. Uh, after that, we desperately tried to get back into the game by forcing people forward. But unfortunately, it left us massively open at the back. And Maynard almost made it three. Paddy Kenny rushed off his line, and I think he just did enough to put him off. But that is a warning sign from Wigan. They will not give up until they get that third goal and kill this game off completely. Uh, we had a chance just before half-time. Ross McCormack threw on goal, and it's a fantastic save by uh, El Abzi. And unfortunately for us, it is still 2-1 to Wigan. I mean, really, Ross on his day will bury that. It's a good save, though, so I'm not taking anything away from the goalkeeper. Can we make this corner count? Can we get it in the box? Uh, Cameron Stewart to take. Can Pierce get his hand on it? No, he can't. McCormack picks it up at the edge of the box. Passes it to Kebe. Kebe's just done something which was completely uh, pointless. That is a great ball. Says Field is a great save by the goalkeeper. But unlike Wigan's second goal, which spilled straight to him from Paddy Kenny, they get a bit of luck and it goes to one of their defenders. But uh, we are... Ticking all the right boxes here. We are looking at getting this equaliser. Oh, can Byron get the crossing? He does. Oh, he can't get his head on it. Can he? Oh, he's at the post. It's all frantic at the moment. It's all Leeds as well. Uh, Esfield just hits the post. Maybe he should have passed it into the box. A little bit greedy there, but can't blame the young lad for having a go. Uh, El Absi takes his time over the goal kick, which is really annoying there. Uh, Kebe tries to find Stewart. Stewart manages to find the ball after a deflection there. And again, lovely football. Cameron Stewart oh, he fa forces a fine save from the goalkeeper again. And Cameron Stewart has been absolutely immense today. He really has been on top form. And the only thing he hasn't got out of this game is a goal. And you feel that he deserves one. Um, as Wigan makes some changes just to secure the game, I'm guessing. Uh, try and nick it at the other end. Lafondra's taking this corner. He manages to take it. Can Kebe get his head on it? And he can, but it was really quite crap. Uh, we're in the 85th minute now, and uh, one last roll of the dice. He's played really, really well as Cameron Stewart, but he is absolutely spent, so... I'm bringing him off, McCormack as well, and uh, Esfield. They're all run their hearts out, and they're all absolutely exhausted. Don't forget, they had a game two days prior to this, so 
I played the same team, which might have been a little bit of a mistake on my part, but I wanted to win. I really wanted to win this game, and unfortunately, it looks like it isn't going to happen unless we can get a draw. That is a great ball to Aibi. Oh, I managed to take on two players and pass it to Lafondre, who's lost it, and we're gonna, surely going to clear the lines. And that's surely it. Oh, can they get another one and punish us further? No, that is it. That is full time. That is really disappointing. We've lost our first game of the season. Be it to Wigan, who were a fantastic team. Good outfit and, in my opinion, a premiership team all day long. But, yeah, uh, we end the episode in eighth place, which is a bit of a bummer considering the fact we were in first when we started it. But we'll uh, crack on and see what we can do. Our next game is against Derby County. That promises to be a tough game. They are a bogey team to both me and Leeds United in general. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, let me know, like usual. I appreciate all the comments that you give me and likes. Uh, they really do build my confidence to do these videos for you guys. Right then, I will see you later. Take care.